Hi guys, so today I filmed a tutorial with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and this is like a first impression video because it's the first time that I've used this. I picked it up today and I had to come home and film a tutorial because I was so excited about it. These these eyeshadows are amazing. I am so impressed with them and I just kind of picked the shadows as I did the tutorial so um, this is the look that I came up with, um, but I am is so impressed. Like I said, this is going to be my new go-to palette. Hopefully, I'll have some more tutorials out using this. So um, this is the look, and if you'd like to see how to do this, then go ahead and keep watching. To save a little bit of time, I've already applied my foundation. I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Light, and I applied my foundation, which was the MAC Pro Longwear in NC25 and the Revlon Color Stay in 300. Okay, so I'm using Max Soft Ochre to, well, I'm just using it basically as a base to even everything out and conceal any redness that I have. Taking it underneath. I've already got some on this eye. Okay, so I'm going to start off using white chocolate, which is this light sort of skin tone shade. And I'm using a big flat brush. I'm just tapping it on the paint pot just to set it and make sure that it's easier to blend. And now I'm going to be using my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to be using this shade right here and this is called Salted Caramel. It's just a matte medium like mid, mid brown. It has a little bit, it reminds me of Soft Brown from MAC. So I'm just going to take this into the crease and in the outer corner and then bring a little bit underneath. And then just work on blending it into the crease. This, these colors are so pretty. When I swatched them at Ulta, they were just so creamy and so blendable. And I just really could not walk away from this palette. Okay, so that's where we are. And I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm doing. This is the first time I'm using this palette, so I just kind of wanted to open it up and just start putting my makeup on. So I think next I'm going to go with, um, let's see, this darker shade in the corner, and this is called Hazelnut. And I'm going to apply this to the outer corner. It has a little bit of shimmer in it almost like a reminds me of mulch from Mac it's kind of like a coppery brown and then just blend that out a little bit I'm just gonna wipe off my brush a little bit and then blend that into the crease. And then I'm taking whatever's left over and just running it underneath my lower lash line. Wow, I really, really like these shadows. These are so pretty. Okay, now for a shimmery shade, I wanna do kind of like a shimmery shade on the lid and bring it over into the inner corner. I'm gonna take a different brush. Actually, I'm gonna go back in with the flat brush and I'm using this shade right here, which is called Marzipan. And I'm just gonna place that on my eyelid and then bring it into the inner corner oh 
my goodness. I am so in love with these shadows. They're so creamy and so blendable. Okay, I think I'm going to go a little bit into this gold shade, which is called Creme Brulee. I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to take this right in the middle. Just to make it a little bit more golden. Wow, this is just so pretty. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. But these shadows are gorgeous. And then just kind of blending it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have to stop right here and finish with my eyebrows. I'm just going to be using Espresso from MAC and a MAC 263. I should have done this first. I just bought the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I took it back. It just, I felt like it didn't really stay put. Um, it's like waxy and my skin is oily, so I don't know if I need to set that with a powder. I just returned it. I, I, what I really wanted was the pomade, I think it is, that just came out, but they're out of stock. So I'm just going to wait for that and then pick that up when it when it's in stock because that's really what I wanted but they didn't have that so I settled for the Brow Wiz okay just gonna go through that with a spoolie real fast Okay, much better. All right, now I'm just gonna take my brush and just kind of blend it out. Make sure that the edges are blended really well. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this shade, the white chocolate. I'm just gonna use a 239. Just gonna highlight my brow bone. Since I have so much shimmer on the lid, I'm just going to keep that matte. And I'm going to take a little bit more of this shade, the hazelnut. I'm using a pencil brush and I'm just going to drag it underneath my lower lash line. That's going to be it for the shadow. Now I'm taking a liner brush and I'm using my Black Track Fluid Line if I can find it. It was just here. Here it is. Wow, I really love these eyeshadows. I can tell that this is going to be my new favorite palette. They are just so pretty. Okay, so before I apply my mascara, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer. This is the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC in NC20. And I'm just going to clean up underneath and brighten up my under eye area. And 
my face is really a little bit lighter than what I'm going for but I really like that because then I can use like a bronzer to go back in and contour and even everything out and it just keeps the areas that I want highlighted highlighted and then like the darker areas contoured okay so I'm just applying a coat of L'Oreal Voluminous And I'm going to let this dry while I'm finishing up the rest of my face. And I'm going to add a little bit of powder. I don't like to powder under my eyes because I feel like it makes my concealer it's just too much because that concealer is really has a lot of coverage and it really doesn't need a powder to set it, it sets on its own okay now for contouring I'm using my Mac 2 no 168 and this is Too Faced bronzer from or it's from Too Faced it's the chocolate Soleil bronzer For blush, I'm going to be using something a little bit more like corally. This is Blissful from Tarte. And I'm using a MAC 116. And I like to keep my blush kind of from here back. And highlight, I'm going to be using Whisper of Guilt, it's just a gold highlight, just to kind of tie everything together since I went with a gold eye. And then for lips, I'm using Cream Cup by MAC. I've been using this a ton as you can see like it's almost gone and a little bit of lip liner this is 15C from Makeup Forever a little bit of gloss and this is called Maple Blondie from NYX. It's also like kind of like a corally pink. And now for my last coat of mascara. I always like to top off my mascara with the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. It just makes my lashes look amazing. Okay, so just applying it a little. I cannot use two coats of this. I've talked about this before. I can. I have to use something underneath it, and then use this because it's it dries. It's kind of like L'Oreal Voluminous. When it dries, it's your lashes are still soft, but when this dries, your lashes are kind of like hard and crispy. Okay, so that is it. This is the final look. I can definitely say that this is going to be one of my favorite palettes. I cannot wait to use this tomorrow and try out some other shades. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.